So, here is one of those $20 lawnmowers that I picked up over at uh, Stormville this weekend. And you can see it's in really, really nice shape. It looks like it has almost no mileage on it. So, let's see what it's going to do. So, I guess the first thing we want to do is push the primer button. And I'm not hearing that sloshing sound like the primer button is doing anything and obviously that is not a very good sign right you normally kind of want to hear a um, a slurpy sound of some sort right a sound like like you're actually drawing gas and it doesn't sound like it to me so that was that was the first thing we tried the second thing we're going to do is now that I've pushed that several times, let's give the string a pull and see what it wants to do. So you can see it's doing a whole lot of nothing. Um, next, just quickly, let's give it a little spur to go juice. Remember, just a little will do ya. Maybe he wants more. So, it did start up, and what is that telling us? Obviously, I have spark. My valves are opening and closing, right? All the good things are going on. Probably what it doesn't have, and once again, as I was pushing that button, I didn't hear that kind of slurpy sound that you should hear. I'm thinking it's got a carburetor problem. Um, so, there's gas in it, obviously. How's it smell? Gas actually smells pretty good. So we're gonna get to take this apart and figure out what's wrong with the carburetor. I don't know what kind of motor this is. Oh, it's a Briggs. Supposedly a four and a half horsepower. I don't know the, how they get. Oh, they're talking foot-pounds because I couldn't figure out how they'd get four and a half horsepower out of only 125 cc's I'm thinking it's more like three or two and a half um, But anyway, I'm gonna take the top of it off and let's see. Let's see what it looks like Let's see if we can't get this thing running Okay, so working on this thing looks simple enough um, eight millimeters Spin those out and that gets the cover off right looks like the cover is independent from the gas tank and once that's off we'll be able to see what's going on once those three screws are out the cover lifts right off and you see very quickly things just slide together you want to really be careful because there's more plastic than metal in these things nowadays what I'm gonna do is I already slid the clip back from the gas line and I'm going to use these to help ease it away and I'm going to catch the gas that way we can take a look at it and see how ugly it is you know what I'm going to clean up this container a little bit before we we catch the gas that way we can see what it looks like so um, other than that this carburetor slides on and you could see that we're building a little little something in there uh, for mice by the way it wouldn't be surprising if they didn't get in here right there's plenty of space for them to get right in here and you know fill yourself up with all kinds of bad things 
and uh, cause your engine to overheat. So that is something you have to be aware of. Easy enough to clean out. There's only three eight millimeter uh, bolts that you got to take out. So one of those things to think about if you own one of these. So this is an almost or a half filled gas tank. And you see how quickly the gas is coming out of there? I think we might have already found the problem. So we dumped out the gas. This was a perfectly clean container. And you can see there's quite a bit of water. See it? I mean like a lot of water in the gas. So they must have left it outside. And it um and it it just got a load of water in it. If you look at the tank itself, I think you can see that little kind of mushroom thing sticking up. Let's see if we can't shine some light on it. See that thing sticking up right there, that white thing? Um, that's a filter that they molded into the bottom of it. It, I think quite honestly, all it has is water in the gas. I'm just going to uh, drain the bottom of the carburetor and see if the whole thing comes right back to life. So if one just takes out the two 8mm bolts and slides that off, this slides right out. And obviously you just rock the throttle off. So the carburetor is off. And what's surprising is... It's just made out of plastic. I mean, completely. There's, like, no metal here. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to take the ball off and kind of blast some solvent through it, and hopefully that cleans it up. Wow, this is, like, one plastic carburetor. So, once again, I'm going to just take my... I'm even a little nervous about what to use to clean this off that it doesn't dissolve on me. You know what? I think I'm uh, I'm just going to jet some air through it. Because the last thing I want to do is blow a solvent through it that um, eats, eats the carburetor, right? I mean, this truly is a plastic carburetor, right? One doesn't want to make it worse. So I put the whole lawnmower back together again, which was... Two bolts in the bottom of the carburetor, two bolts to hold the carburetor to the um, body, uh, slid the gas tank down, put the hose back on, put these three bolts back in. Notice I'm using the word bolts, and let's see what it does. One, two, three, four. It's making a little more sound, which is a good sign. I think, uh, I think I'm going to be able to keep my lawnmower repair certification. You know, things really have become so, so expendable. The, so much of the motor is made out of plastic, which is interesting. The other thing is, all it had was water in the tank. It needed no parts. Took me about an hour, give it or take a little bit. Well, actually, 45 minutes, let's say to fix it, call it an hour of shop time. So here you have a $100 lawnmower that the only thing wrong with it is there's water in the gas and it really doesn't pay to fix it because shop time, I don't know, 50, 60, 100 bucks an hour and you could go buy another lawnmower for 100 bucks, right? So there we are. I'm gonna cut a little grass with this thing and put it aside. I'm really surprised it got so much water in it. There must have been something wrong with the tank of fuel because this cap is such that even if there's ice and all on it, I don't think water would get into the tank. So somebody probably put contaminated fuel into it. That's my guess. So I'm going to take off the, you know, $20 need repair sign and we're going to call it good. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up, and fix a lawnmower today. Once it's running, you'll feel good about yourself. Bye now.